Valentine's Day. How's your week going? Last week, Rick shared with you that love is an action word. You can't know somebody loves you until they show it to you in some way. Here's an example. Take my toy Dino. He might love me. Do you love me? There's no way for him to show me he loves me. He can't talk. He can't share his love. He's just a toy. Now, Lucy on the other hand, Lucy, come, come on. Lucy shows me she loves me by giving me kisses. And Ella does, Ella, by wagging her tail and wiggling around. Ella and Lucy show me they love me with their actions. <laughs> actions say even more than words sometimes. That brings me to our memory verse for this week. You might recognize this verse and maybe you've even already memorized it before. Let's try saying it all together and you can see if you know it. Elicit. <laughs> for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3, 16. Does that sound familiar? Like I said, many of you have probably already heard that one and you've maybe even memorized it, but it's such a special verse that we'll practice it again this month. This verse tells us that God loves us so much that he gave us the most special thing. He gave us his only son to save us. Can you imagine giving away your most special thing the most important thing to you, your most favorite thing, maybe like your toy dinosaur, your T-Rex, the biggest dinosaur that you own, that you would give this away to somebody just to show them how much you love them. That's what God did for us. That's why this verse is so important. So let's say it one more time and we'll memorize it this month together. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. All right, kids, have a great week. Happy memorizing. And remember that you are loved.